Hello everybody. My name is Mikko Tolonen and I have made previously few posts uh, about or on my Zuka, my all terrain and all the modifications that I've done with it or to it. And now since my cart is completely ready, I decided to make a video where I explain all the mods that I've done. So it would be easier for you guys if you want to make some of the same mods or you come up with something better with a better solution or so, something like that so i guess it's easier to pinpoint them out from a video instead of a dozen of still pictures i'm coming to you from finland from Oulu. Uh, today is the probably the warmest day of the summer yet i think it's over 20 probably almost 25 soon it's green and it's absolutely lovely the only bad thing is that I can I cannot go throwing since my my elbow got infected last Thursday and I have have to stay put or I can't use my arm or put any pressure on it or put it under stress for like a week so I have to take it easy. So it's a good time to make a video for you guys. So, let's start. Okay, so <clears throat> I suppose you can see this. Yeah. So, this is a Zuga All Terrain cart with the normal saddlebags attached to it. It also has the 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 regular Zuka powder pouch which I'm using this way. I see a lot of people using it the other way around. So the powders are are like here, but I don't know why because you can't see it on the cart that way. Uh, the reason I, uh, I chose the all-terrain is uh, only because I got a good trade from my friend and it's also compared to the other cards it's a bit higher so it's more easy for me to sit on it since I'm like uh, 184 centimeters tall. So it's a ba uh, the basics it's an all-terrain card. Uh, okay what comes to the, the saddlebags itself the the other one, as we all know, is the cooler side and that takes a lot of discs or drinks if so needed. And then the, then is the, the other side and as you can see, this is it doesn't look like the regular one. The, the normal side, the other side of the saddlebags, it's sloppy and it doesn't look good. So I made a modification out of a 5 liter canister. Okay, it's the trash. The trash guy is uh, go coming to take the trash out, so I'll make a pause and continue when he's gone. Okay, so like I said, I took out uh, a normal 5 liter plastic canister. Usually in Finland we say they sell juice in, in one of these, or you can buy some vegetable oil or whatever in 5 liter canisters. This is probably like 20 centimeters in this diameter. I think it's 10 or 12 like this. This is whatever this is deep. And you can also see that I have tied the corners of the saddle by this of this pouch just to make it a little bit more firm and square. It was sagging this way before I I saw these by hand. And now as you can see the lid covers it covers the whole, the opening perfectly. The water doesn't get in. All my things, I usually keep my towels here in a nice roll. As you can see, they're all rolled here, like this. And some mosquito repellent, repellent. And this towel is for, I usually wet this with water before the round, so I can keep my hands wet. A little bit more creepy. And here I have some, I can still use this, this side pocket inside here, so. This came out pretty nice. This is one. I'm not saying, oh, this is pretty hard to do on one hand. So I'm not uh, telling you about these mods in any particular order. Since I'm, I've been building it for like a year or during the winter. So that's for the saddlebags. As you can see, I'm not using the fenders. I don't need to. As you can see, I have never, I have never washed this cart. And it's still, 
it's not dirty and if it gets dirty I wash it so I don't need the fenders the original fenders are ridiculously expensive like 65 euros something like that here in Finland uh, I'm using the the original air air tires I like them more over the the foam ones I have two pairs of these a hole in it or it breaks down I just grab another one and put it in I always if I'm going away from my hometown I always take the spare wheels with me just in case since I have the I have the space in the car <clears throat> I also have the original knobs these are not with the locking locking screw and what I did is that I put uh, some some of that white plumber's tape on the threads and then screw this knob back on so it's it doesn't come loose I all I've already also changed the the bearings once since I broke the those those cups that keep the dust away I broke those and the whole bearing just came apart so I had to had to buy new ones I bought the decent ones they cost like 10 euros piece so it's like 40 euros worth of bearings inside these plastic tires now so but and the problem with these air tires is that this valve this space is so little that you can't actually fit any regular pump in it so I had to order a 90 degree angle piece to be used with my pump but that's working fine I usually pump these up fill these tires like once or twice per season so that's not a big deal anyway <clears throat> on to the actual modification where should I start okay let's start with the the wall itself so <clears throat> I'll turn this around as you can see I don't have the regular water bottle holders but I'm using the screws so the base of this kind of modification is actually this one this is for my friend but it, it's the same but it's a different color it's a it's a car molle wall organizer this is meant to be behind the the drivers or the passenger seat and you can attach there's a big pocket here like you can see it's a pocket there's a velcro and but the the idea is that it has all these attachments these loops where you can put other molle molle comp uh, compatible compatible stuff to it and the way i because i have an all-terrain cart and this is a bit wider than the back of the cart i just had to like <clears throat> It was like this much uh, wider on each side, so it came like here. <clears throat> I just fold it around, and it came. Uh, it just. I'm using a few zip ties to keep it in place, but it really actually went into its place pretty easily. I'm screw. I screwed it down from with the water bottle holder screws, and when you have, and since I have this, I have these like like this so I could easily use those straps to keep it in place here I don't know if you can see it now you can see it I just put these little plastic clips on it and it keeps it uh, nice nice and tight from the bottom <clears throat> and the upper part I just had to make a hole for this uh, clamp to go through since I didn't want to put this wall on top of the on, on top of the pole I like uh, I wanted to put it behind the pole to make it look uh, cleaner <clears throat> so that's uh, how I attached the mole level and then always if you have any loose parts or you feel it's not attaching properly just use uh, zip ties those are cheap and they last long and they are a pretty easy way to fix things then I had this water bottle pocket now I have only one in place this is the second one it's like this these are pretty cheap everything is from Wish from China and all these pouches that I have I have plenty more in my in my uh, in my room that I'm not using at the moment 
and they all cost together with shipping something like 55 uh, euros so it's something like 60 65 dollars with shipping so they are not that expensive these cost like four to eight dollars i think the mole wall is something like eight to ten dollars etc etc <clears throat> i also bought these mole wall these rubber bands just to have if i need to some put something <clears throat> like a jacket i i hang it put it around the pole and just put a sleeve through that so it don't doesn't fall off so it's the water butter holder they have a nice pouch here for my cell phone if you use cigarettes or something like that you can put them in there the next one is the umbrella holder which is also attached to the molle wall so this is an an backpack pouch for a shotgun actually you can see you can put the shotgun shells here yeah and this is also from wish the way it works is just whenever i think it might rain but it's actually i'm not sure if it's gonna rain i just put my umbrella there and i'm ready to go it doesn't go anywhere easy easy and simple to keep it with me and if i need to uh, attach the this extra bottle if I need to attach this, I can easily attach it to here. So then I have two. If I need more water, I can use the cooler side to keep two more liters so I can carry four liters easily. Not like putting any pressure on my back if I'm using a backpack. So this one thing I one reason I bought the cart. <clears throat> so this is the umbrella holder. So okay, what happens uh, when it if it rains? Then we use the then we use the umbrella holder, which is this. This is actually a fishing rod holder, meant to be used on a boat. And you can buy those these I think everywhere where they sell fishing rods and fishing line and lures and everything that's related to fishing. So this one is pretty cool. It's just this is. I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, but I'll try. Whoop. Okay, like that. And you can see, it's pretty nice. I can almost stand underneath it. Actually, I can, if I come here. <clears throat> the thing is, this is a bit wobbly. So I made this little piece from a pipe insulation foam. I just put around the umbrella, stuck it in there, and now it's not slacky anymore, and that's great. Usually, if it's raining, I stay underneath here like this, and then when I'm done playing, I'm moving on, I just grab the, the whole thing on my other, ha other hand, and the other hand is dragging the, the cart. And then when it's my time to play, again, or I stop, I just put it here, and again, it's very easy to, easy to work with. Okay, continuing with the handle itself, there is the fishing rod holder. Then this part here is just a normal, very cheap mountain bike, kind of like the handle part that comes at the end of the handle. I don't know, how, what do you call them? Race bars or something like that? It, it used to have this bend, but I just cut it with the with the saw just to make it straight and shorter. And then I attached this this cellular uh, mount for my phone. It's a uh, brand G U B. I don't know what it means, but this is also from China, from Wish, and this has been working great. I'm not. I haven't been. I haven't been worried about dropping my phone ever when I've been using this. It's absolutely great. Since I use the U-Disc, this is a great way to hold your phone. But there are also other types of mounts. This is aluminium. I liked it. It's red, metallic. It's super cool. And the width uh, is uh, 50 millimeters to 100. So you can probably attach any modern, modern phone to it with a touch screen. Uh, the handle itself. It's kind of like the same that the original, but I wanted to change it because it was too long, I think. 
uh, and I get, get uh, kept getting my hand uh, gray from the aluminium so I bought a shorter one and I put this uh, regular mountain bike handle grip here which is kind of like really poorly shortened but it's working it's not slippery I can drag it with my two two fingers if I need to so it's uh, it's actually pretty simple and effective little packet up here with these three then what sometimes people complain that the this part here you might lose the screw okay you get you can get for, uh, another one from a hardware store but as you can see if you look really closely there is a gap right there and uh, if you're feeling that the this pole is like uh, turning and your handle this bar feels loose when you drag the the cart and it just doesn't tighten enough you need to file down this part this half of the these two metal parts so this gap gets smaller it doesn't get the pressure even and it leaves like one millimeter gap there but I did uh, what I did I think you can see some red there yeah it's fallen there but it's still working I made a little washer a piece of uh, from a soda can and I put it inside this tube to make the diameter of the tube a little bit smaller so this clamp would uh, tighten it better and I also put a little washer there I don't know if it's actually making any any effort anymore since I, I'm using the washer from the soda can inside there <clears throat> and these tubes are pretty vulnerable to bending so if you bend it the, there are pretty good chance that you won't get it moving inside or outside anymore so but they are not that expensive if you break it just get a new one it's more easier that way something that I did uh, to hold this original frame uh, what is yeah the frame or, what, or whatever you call it I know Skunk River Customs make a really darn good looking ones and usable but getting one from the United States to to Finland it's so expensive that the shipping is ridiculous so I don't want to spend the what 70 80 dollars on a rack I'm just using the the old one <coughs> which is kind of like coming apart already but it's still it's still usable I, I put some I don't know if you can see it there's a, a zip tie that goes through the fabric and it goes through the bottom of the rack just to keep it in place and it doesn't let the rack like come loose from the bottom the back part wants to usually to come up like this this way and now that I have uh, zip locked it from both sides it stays in place and just to keep the discs uh, from falling I put uh, yet another piece of the pipe insulation over there so as you can see they are a bit tight but it's soft and when you start to learn how to use this is you take the disc you press it down and pull it outwards so this is pretty good so I can go downhill and my disc still stay inside the rack <clears throat> something else also that I did I filed down this part here because sometimes the discs are a bit bigger and they tend to grab this plastic divider so I just filed it like a one centimeter off from it so none of my discs are attaching touching it now so this is the original if somebody wants to send me the skunk river one I'm happy happy to try it out but I don't think anybody wants to send me one so <laughs> I'm using the old one so I think that's all the modifications that I've done with this one at, uh, at least so far you never know what I'll do next winter but this is pretty pretty usable now and it's it's very handy Okay, of course it's a bit heavy I don't know how much this weight maybe 15 kilos 10 12 something like that but I don't mind it still saves my back so that's my modifications on the Zuga all-terrain cart
I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to use the same methods of upgrading it or modifying it that I did. I find them useful. If you need any information on how to attach something or where to order them from, I'm happy to, to help you. Uh, all these, like I said, they are ordered from Wish, from China. So that's probably the best place alongside Amaz uh, Amazon to order all these pouches and, and molle stuff. And also the fishing rod holder and stuff like that. So I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It came a bit long, but I'm trying to edit to be, uh, to it, it to be a little bit shorter. And I hope you all have a good disc of summer with your cards. Bye bye.